We are all in shaping a little slice of Newcastle rugby history. Or will the Saracens juggernaut have its way again, as it does so often in this fixture? And Billy Vunipola makes his first of what will be many carries this afternoon. George McGuigan often the man to finish things off at the back. It's Robinson who rules the northeast sky. Saracen set the defence well, but McGuigan poised at the back. And now they begin to rev that big V8 engine. McGuigan burrowing through the heart of the bodies and scoring. Right try. Smuggling his way to a tenth try of the season. A golden opportunity to strike back. McFarlane with the take. In come the red jerseys. Sean Maitland. That's his live frame to the drive. They've shifted the point of attack. They're twirling towards the line and they're over. And they serve up a dose of Newcastle's own medicine. And anything George McGuigan can do, Tom Wollstonecroft can match. Will Hayden Wood. Has it got the distance? Oh, yes. A fine kick from the 21 year old. And Hayden Woods, unperturbed by the disruption to his kicking routine, bangs over three more points. Bucket loads of Saracens pressure, so much possession. Can they make it tell? Davis, good to Vunipola, trying to trundle between two tacklers. Newcastle have conceded the penalty. Saracens will fancy their chances of more. This is for Shegan to chase. Now, did Mike Brown knock that out deliberately? So he's going to catch that ball, buffer that after power play. So Mike yeah. Brown is going to the bin and it's going to be a penalty try. Yeah. Thanks. Well, this is a huge moment in the game. Mike Brown will be off for 10 minutes for that deliberate knock into touch and goal. It's and going to be a penalty try. We'll have seven it's points. It's going to be a penalty try. And now Hayden Wood has been perfect from the tee so far. And he turns away, satisfied with that one too. Over it goes. Saracens lead by a point. Don't pull him, don't pull him. Saracens turning the screw. Cock for Wollstonecroft. Little dummy half penetrates a gap. Cock straightens up. <laughs> Mashes into a couple of tacklers. Vunapola to McFarland. This is better from Saracens. As they look to stretch their lead. Oh, but to Yingbo. Oh, he's free. He's wriggling through. A jack in the box try from Elliot Obata Yingbo. And Saracens pounce three minutes into the second half. Advantage over from offside. Falcons need to make Saracens pay. They cannot afford to squander this sort of field position. Saracens shot them towards the touchline, but there he is again. George McGuigan stealing over. Missed by everybody. A thief in the night. Squirming in at the corner. And McGuigan helps himself to a double. This could be the game right here. Oh, as Equi oh. takes. And here comes this wedge. This scarlet That's one. tank. Trundling towards the corner flag. Wheeling and peeling and whirling. And not quite scoring. McFarlane stretching. Contorting his body back. Andy Christie. Locks and loads, and into the corner goes Shagan. There's the bonus point score. And that might be the try that kills off the Falcons. And here they go. Route one from Saracens. Half of St Albans wedged in there. 
stopped illegally. Good slalom in his way to the line. Try that. A touch of class from the veteran skipper. We will restart 134. Carving a deep gash in the Newcastle defence and applying the icing to a very fat bonus point lead in Saracen's cake. Yes. Into the yes. final 30 seconds. In fact, our clock is wrong, the stadium clock is correct. Ian Tempest blows the full time whistle and signals another win for Saracens. They strengthen their grip on second place. For Newcastle, it's another league loss, a ninth in a row. This day belongs to Mark McCall Saracens. They've beaten Newcastle Falcons by 36 points to 21.